Okay, well, I'm starting to have great success with the stubble fuel coil finally. And uh, this was uh, really hard to figure out why and how and, and get this to work. This uh, Nathan stubble fuel uh, electrical battery, which, uh, for what I'm finding out, it, he had to call it that, but it's really not. It's something different, it's something else. But uh, anyway, I'm having luck with this. This uh, one here is alive and well and healthy, and it's still putting out. Uh, 0.6 volts and I had it running the pulse motor most of the day today and then I decided to build a little stubby one and uh, you see the uh, LED lights on this is a jewel thief right here and it runs these jewel thieves really really well even the little one here and this one here is a combination of Dragon and Gina's designs and Dragon was the one that got me turned on to making a short one it's only four layers thick and it's very short. Now the core on this is three-quarter galvanized, or not galvanized, but black iron uh, gas pipe. And Gina was the one that told me about this. And she has one of these little stubble fields that's been going for two years in the ground and still producing electricity. And so I built one of these up, and man, it works. It works great. And uh, I'll turn these eyes off so you can see it go off here. And I come back on again. And, uh, you know, if I had something like this planted in my garden with a photo cell that those things came on every night, that'd be really cool, especially something that ran for two years. So, anyway, I'm, I'm encouraged again with these things, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll keep going with it. And like I say, this one here did not die. I, I wrapped it correctly, and um, it's really only about half what it should be. If you've seen Laser Saber's videos... He fills this all the way up with wire. The thing must weigh 8 pounds by the time he gets on the metal on it. And uh, that's probably why he got such good results. But even if this, the things are putting out half a volt, I'm going to go ahead and connect this up. Um, I'll show you how it works here and uh, show you, prove, you to prove that it actually does produce the electricity. I'll plug some wires in here so I can show this. And... Uh, I'll disconnect this one here, take this little stubby off, and I'll plug in this other one over here. But yeah, I'm real encouraged with this now. This, uh, there goes this one, and that's this one right here, and that's the the good one, the one that took a lot of time. By the way, that took I figured it took five hours at least to wind that coil. It was a uh, kind of an all-day kind of thing, and uh, it runs a jewel thief great. But it's the secondary thing that I've got to work on now. And Aaron's designed a, a, a feedback pulse uh, type of circuit that I want to work on also. But uh, that's my next um, thing I want to work on is uh, the design calls for pulsing this part, the primary, and inducing voltage in the secondary. And supposedly when this is buried in the ground, it does it automatically. So that's what i got to do some research and find out some more about that. But uh, right now what I've built basically is this. It's just the primary with the two, uh, two windings. And uh, like I say, uh, they work. They, if, you have, if you do it right, you don't get any shorts. They, they work. And I don't know how long they work, but I think what's going to happen, it's going to dry out. And you have to get it wet again. And uh, that's about the way it goes. That's what the dragon said. His little stubby here, that's what he does. He just soaks it. And uh, then it starts up again. So I'm going to be testing these and see if the, that's how it works. By the way, I got these little end caps for the pipe here. And uh, someone was right about squeezing that coil. If you squeeze down on these things, and I've been just using my hand squeezing on this thing, that seems to reactivate them. So anyway, I'll be working with that also. But... Anyway, success. This is a this is a successful day. Thanks for watching.